Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bria Scott and get ready with me as I go on my vacation trip. So I'm going to start off by using number 13 amp squirting plumping gloss stick by MAC and it's pink. So I'm going to twist it and I like to dab it versus just rubbing it on because the consistency is <clears throat> is really thick and I like to just make sure I'm not rubbing any product off and this is by MAC okay so let's get into the skincare part I've been using a turmeric soap bar um, to wash my face um, I've been using a, a physician formula to hydrate my face, but I'm also going to add in a, a couple more steps. I like to use the Lime Life by Alcone Afterglow with Aloe. Just put a dab in my hand. And like to rub it all over my face excuse my voice I just woke up and brushed my teeth and showered so my voice is I haven't had coffee yet <laughs> just a bottle of water okay so then that's my line my file phone and then I go in with the face primer by the ordinary looks like this and it is a white cream so the other one was clear this is a white cream and I like to make sure this is rubbed in especially on my eyelids and I'm just going for a natural glam um, not too much next I like to go in with a eyebrow powder looks like this and as you can tell I've been using a lot of it that I use I'm going to brush upward with the spoolie of a eyebrow, a eyebrow pencil and I've been trying to keep my brushes clean so it's like trying to find these brushes is time consuming readjust something here we go I had to do all that just to find a brush start from the top and work my way down to the tip of my eyebrow and brush upward tap some product onto the brush go underneath 
and you just follow the shape of your eyebrow sorry I wish I had like a um, bobby pin but I don't have a bobby pin and I had butterfly clips but I moved them so I'm just gonna have to tuck my curl behind me just until I finish because my eyebrows are looking crooked I like my eyebrows a little extended just take my finger and kind of wipe off that excess Okay, so next I'm going to go in with my NYX Conceal, Correct, and Contour. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm be going with this shade. Just go underneath the brow just to clean up the excess hair. And then I'm going with this shade at the top. And it's just a warmer tan. Just to blend in with my complexion and not be too noticeable that I have two different shades on. So I go in the inner corner and start blending And then I go on the other side and start blending. And I'm so excited for this trip because this will be the officially officially the first time I'm getting in a pool. <laughs> So it, it's been a while since I've been in the pool and I'm excited and then we're gonna go to a lounge Make sure that is blended and the tail end of my eyebrows are nice and clean. Alright, so I got my moisturizer on, I got my primer on, got my skincare going. So next I'm going to go in with a studio radiance uh a sheer foundation so it's very light and you don't have to apply too much on and it is by mac i'm a mac girly i love mac and let me just dab it and especially with this heat you don't want nothing too thick of a foundation because you start sweating and I'm 
just applying this all over. And it's very sheer and it's very skin like, very natural. I like this. I love it a lot. <clears throat> with my uh, concealer, I'm going with the Camo Concealer 16 Hour Wear. Um, it's very bright. So I'm going to tone it down with a um, contour I like the heart I'm going to spray the hi the hydrate and fix by Revolution and it's just really um, make sure that the concealer is moist enough for me to blend I use one of these brushes and this is by elf it's a stipple brush Stipple brush it, it just blends in so well and this is the part where you have to really trust the process I like to highlight my focal points, my um, like under my eyes, um, my chin. And we're going to add some warmth after. So next, I like to go in with the Wet n Wild stick, um, almond, and it looks like this. And I just create this like crescent moon type shape. And this is the part where we're going to start contouring and adding in warmth in my back of my face. And it's like the best technique 
that I have ever done before because everything blends in so well and I'm about to show you how so I'm, again I'm going to take my foundation brush and start blending upward like where my top of my lip is Making sure I buff out any lines. And I want the highlighted areas to still be brightened. And then I'm going to take the rest of the contour and blend that underneath my eyes, my eyebrows, sorry. Okay, and then next I'm going to take my blush, this is my MAC, and after I finish using all of my cream products, I'm going to go home with my powder, um, this is like a powder consistency. And then next, um, I know it looks like a lot of st steps, but it it gets quicker as you go. So I'm going to be going in with the infillable uh, 24 hour fresh wear. And this is the shade Amber. This is the shade Amber. kind of dust off some and I just tap it underneath my eye I tap on my forehead my eyebrows And you can kind of see a difference. It gives a more airbrush look, like matte. And I don't really like to do dewy um, makeup. Just because I think it looks best when I have a matte look okay so then I'm running out so <laughs> I am using MAC studio fix in the shade NC 44.5 And give a little swirl and go on her jawline. 
kind of tone down my chin so it can be like skin. And then last but not least, I'm going to apply my lashes. And these are by Shein. Shein has really nice lashes. And they're strong lashes because when you get ready to take it off of the, the plastic contraction. Um, you want to have lashes still on if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Like when you take it out of the plastic, I still want lashes on there. Like, sometimes when I go to different places to get lashes and you take it off of the plastic board, <clears throat> it pulls the lashes off of the rim. So... And while that dries, I'm going to be using, um, on, on top of the MAC lip gloss, I'm going to be using the Butter Gloss by NYX. And this is, one second, this is just going to just make it brown. My lips look so full and nice. And I'm not wearing any eyeshadow on. Because I just wanted it to be natural and quick. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to take my Kali... Kylie Jenner cosmetic mirror and highlight and I'm gonna get my brush and just apply it on my nose and then I take my finger and just kind of brush it upward and over and down so it won't look too harsh and then I'm going to apply my lashes Apply my other lash. Big and bold. I love it. Okay. So after that. I just wanted to be very light. Let me just double check to make sure my lash is on. Because 
we're gonna be in the car i don't want my lash to fly off you know what i mean so yeah i'm just gonna spray the hydrating fix one more time fluff out my curls I use flexi rods, so that's my trick to having beautiful, luxurious curls. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys like this look. It's very natural. Okay, I'm getting a lot of notifications. So. See you guys. Oh look, I have a special guest. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye guys.